This is Scott Tolchin here. So it is November 7, 2016, night before the insane election. But I'm happy to be alive and grateful to be living in this amazing country of ours, the United States of America. But there's certainly been a lot of storm clouds hanging around the political scene. I just read a poll, um, it was NBC Wall Street Journal poll that said that this election was never about hope, it was all about fear. And as a person who specializes in mind-body detraumatization and stress reduction, I know exactly how fear works in the mind and in the body. So for the past 24 7, for the past 365 days, 24 hours, 7 days a week, the news media has been feeding us information in a manner that has only served to confuse, frustrate, anger, and drive fear into the American public, which has all resulted in the communication of one really important and really sometimes disempowering um, and even sickening belief, and that is the belief of danger. That's what gets registered in the limbic system, the part of the brain that handles our fear, flight, and fight response, our stress, when it's really, really triggered. So, how are you going to vote tomorrow? How are you going to access your rational intelligence through all that nasty noise and stress and put yourself into a position of clarity instead of fear or anger or disgust. Are you even going to vote at all? You know, so many people are just throwing their hands up in the air and just giving up. And just that's not the way our republic's supposed to work. So I'm here to show you a really cool technique that's going to calm you down, calm down your nervous system, and really be able to put yourself into a calm, resourceful space where you can make an intelligent decision. And you don't have to walk into that voting, food, voting booth full of fear and anxiety. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you one component of an amazing psychosensory technique. Psycho meaning mind and sensory meaning the senses of the body. And uh, this is called havening techniques and it's developed by uh, Dr. Ronald Rudin, who is an MD, a neuroscientist, and in conjunction with his brother Stephen Rudin, Dr. Stephen Rudin. And in the hands of a certified havening practitioner, like myself, um, this amazing new healing modality is seemingly miraculous. In its breadth and depth and efficacy and speed and nearly always permanent when dealing with problems that other modalities were unable to, to, to really have much effect on like panic attacks and phobias, chronic worry, chronic grief, chronic anxiety, night tremors, flashbacks, post-traumatic stress. So in a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to pause this video, grab a seat in a quiet place where you can remain undisturbed for maybe about five minutes. And I'm going to teach you Havening Touch. By the time we're done with this little intro here, you're going to have a tool that you'll be able to use to calm yourself down any place, anywhere. It's always with you. The power's in your own hands. So you see, Dr. Rudin discovered 
that certain types of stroking of the upper arms, hands, and face, especially around the eyes, generates large amounts of delta waves and calming neurochemicals in the brain that create a sort of safe haven in the midst of emotional storms. By applying Haven Touch on yourself, you'll be able to quickly and easily move into a more relaxed and resourceful emotional state of mind. And once you've gotten the experience of Haven in Touch from this video, you'll be ready to go to a candidate's website and read about their promises if you choose to do so. And if you do, it's a good idea to continue this Haven in Touch as you're reading their website. You don't have to necessarily do all on your face if you don't want to while you're reading, if it makes it difficult. But it'll keep you in this calm space. And if you happen to go out and hear some bombastic news tonight or tomorrow, and you start to get a little worked up again, just turn it down and start Havening Touch. And within, within seconds to minutes, You'll be back in that state of calm and ease. Um, so tomorrow, when you head out to the polls, probably a good idea to do this havening touch. You know, so maybe before you set out, and maybe once you get there in your car. This way, you'll be in a calm and relaxed and resourceful state, and at least be able to say that you voted out of intelligence rather than out of fear. And if you feel you need some personal assistance with Haven in Touch before the vote tomorrow, just head over to my website, which is www.practicalpeacefulness.com and click on the schedule appointment link. I've created a special 2016 election mini session link and it's set up so that we can spend maybe 15 to 20 minutes doing some Haven in Touch dedicated to your feelings around the election. And we do this via Skype, FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, any other video conferencing services available. And I'll be staying up pretty late tonight and I'll be getting up pretty early tomorrow and be around and available for you all day. And for those of you who are ready to dive in and get rid of many of those stress-related problems that I mentioned earlier, you can schedule a time for your first full Havening Technique session on the same page as well. So are you ready, America? Let's Haven and let's rock the vote. Okay, I'm back. So I'm miraculously seated in light clothing and my glasses are off and we're gonna start havening touch so right now you're gonna of course keep your eyes open because you're gonna need to see what i'm doing but after you know what i'm doing close your eyes and just follow my instructions i'm gonna close my eyes take a nice deep breath in i'll let it out Maybe another one. And now I'm just gonna grab my shoulders like I'm gonna hug myself. And just go stroke down to my elbows. And just find whatever speed and whatever tactile pressure is comfortable for you. You can't really blow this stuff. There's no right or wrong. It's gonna to work to some extent. And once you get the feeling, you'll know. Next one is the hands, palms of the hands. I call this washing the hands. So it's easy to remember. I like to do this like this. I just find that more soothing. So experiment with this stuff. Some people I know do this. 
And actually, if you kind of want to be able to haven and maybe get a little bit of the haven feeling and you know, you're in a public place and you don't want to kind of show people that you're havening, you can just do this. Put your hand in your lap and just, nobody's gonna know. Just slow it down. Breathe. Important to breathe. And pay attention to your breath. You don't have to do anything special, but don't hold your breath. Okay, so the hands. And now the face. I like to start on my forehead and wash your face. And you can think about just washing away the stress. You're just wiping it away. What I also do on the face is, and again, this is great because it doesn't matter that, that I switched. It doesn't matter whether I do the face first, the hands first, the arms first. It's, um, you can't go wrong. So, I mean, I'm kind of losing myself here because this feels really good. So I'm now doing above the eyes, which is like that. And again, the speed, you'll find the right speed. Uh, under the eyes. And again, you're doing all this with your eyes closed when you've got it. And I usually do one more on the face and then go back to my arms. So now you should actually, you may be actually starting to feel some relaxation from this. It would help if I were to shut up, but I need to tell you how to do this, so bear with me. So the next thing is if, um, while you're doing this, you kind of hear that chatter in your head, something telling you, you know, I feel anxious or I feel scared or I feel angry. Whatever that feeling is, you can vocalize it out loud with the implicit I feel before it. So it's, I feel, so I wouldn't say anger, I'd say, I feel angry. So then I'm just going to say angry, angry. No, I'm not angry right now, but if I were, actually, if I were, I'd be like this, angry, angry, angry. And then it would slow, angry. This would just naturally happen, angry, angry. And then it would just dissipate. It just, once the word stops, then you're, you're done with that. You've just dissipated that energy. You've dissipated that stress. So it can be, I feel sad, it could be sad. It could be angry, I feel angry, frustrated, frustrated. Whatever works for you, okay? And then once you've got that slowed down, you know, that it stops, it kind of naturally stops. You'll feel it. the word will have no more strength. You just can continue for a little bit longer, and then when you're ready to come out, put your hands in your lap. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Let it out and shrug it off. Open your eyes. And slowly move your eyes to the left. And slowly move your eyes to the right. And slowly move your eyes to the left. And back to the right. Don't turn your head. Back to center. One more little breath. Now I'm ready to rock the boat. <laughs>